Hello everyone, this is me, Fatya here, and I'm back with the bonus love read. This reading is going to be for the sign of Pisces. Topic of the reading is you versus them in this connection and what is going to be the future of the connection. Um, I will also be adding messages from your person as well in this reading, so stay tuned. And uh, before I dive into the read, let me remind you, um, it's a general read. It may, it may not resonate with everyone out there. So always pick the signs and messages that resonate and leave the rest for um, personal reads. You can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also check out other services that are offered as well in the description box. So Pisces, let's see what is going on in this connection. I'm going to divide the same deck into two half. One is going to be your energy. One is going to be the energy of the person that you are dealing with. Uh, and uh, the first two cards of both the piles is going to be the future of the connection, which I will be adding or reading after after we are done with this read, uh, for uh, you know after checking out the energies of uh, the two of you into this connection. So um, yeah, let's dive into the read and let's find out what is going on in this connection from both the sides. Let's begin. Page of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Cups. Four of Swords, <clears throat> Five of Cups, and Ten of Cups. Wow. I need the deck for this person, Eight of Wands. I need that for this person, the Hangman. Wow. I feel like, you know, this is my fishies and this is the energy of the person that you are dealing with right now. Um, when it comes to the person that you're currently dealing with, I feel like, you know, this person has been staying away from you, focusing on themselves heavily and dominantly. Uh, this person could have been investing their time and energy to, to build their empire. Like, you know, somebody who's very career oriented could be the energy of the person that you are dealing with. Um... I feel like, you know, when it comes to this connection, I feel like uh, your person could have not always been the one who is unavailable in this connection uh, because they were always having so much going on in their personal life that they could not give you enough time. So they might have always disappointed you in this connection because of their lack of availability. When it comes to you, I feel like, you know, you always wished that this connection be the one for you forever. Like, you know, you always... Uh, had the dream desire of uh, this connection becoming what you wanted it to become but then there has always been delays you know whatever you plan for this connection it never works out you always stumble upon one block after another around this connection so i feel like you know for a majority of times you have decided to move on from this connection but you always found yourself kind of hanging in there for this person you could not move on from this person because uh, you your heart always brings you back to this person, the same connection that you have with this person, whoever it is that you're dealing with. Um, I feel like, you know, your person, if we talk about them, even they are also not happy with the way things are right now. They're also disappointed in themselves for not being able to give you what you want with them. Um, I feel like, you know, when it comes to this current energy of your person, they really want to see the growth in this connection. They're really looking forward to have that uh, open and honest communication where you could build the connection again um where you could have this uh, connection taken to the next level um i feel like you know your person really wants to invest into this connection now things are changing from their end now and i feel like you know the coming summer is going to be very significant when it comes to your connection with your person when it comes to you i feel like you know you are kind of you know at times feel like giving up on the connection you want to pursue something beautiful um in your love life you really want your love life to be flourishing but it had become stagnant. You really want to move on, but then you don't want to move on with any other person, but this person, whoever it is that you're dealing with. So I feel like, you know, you are wishing upon the stars that um, things work out well for you. So you are being very hopeful and uh, you're being very positive and that's what you're aiming for with this person. You really want this connection to go to the next level when it comes to your person. I feel like you know, they are also evolving. Their energies are also evolving around you, around this connection. Uh, so I feel like, you know, things are heading in the right direction, just that there are certain delays, but yeah, I feel like, you know, that's the only thing that is right now becoming a block for the connection to move on uh, to the next level. Let's see what is going to be the future of the connection. We do have Eight of Pentacles and the King Queen of Cups. 
Um, I feel like you know your person will be investing their time and energy into you, uh, into this connection coming days to weeks time. Especially I th like I said earlier, I feel like you know, the summer time is going to be very significant when it comes to this connection that you have with your person. Um, your love for this person is going to stay the same, uh, no matter whatever you try to do, no matter whatever you try to have, you will not be able to stop loving this person. Um, and I feel like you know this person. Uh, um, is trying to um, use this love that you have for them as their motivation to to work towards making things better in this connection because they don't want to disappoint you again. They don't want to, uh, you know, be the one who uh, make you feel unworthy. So I feel like you know there is going to be the the mutual energy coming in uh, in coming days to weeks time for the two of you in this connection where your person would be giving into the connection. Uh, or at least they will be trying to give into the connection mutually. Let's see what is it that your person really wish to say to you. <clears throat> what are their messages for you? What is it that they want to say to you? What is it that they want to say to you? What is it that your person really wish to say to you? What is it that they wish to say to you? <clears throat> you? <clears throat> They're trying to become strong. Uh, strong enough to take the right decisions for you for this connection that they have with you they also want you to know that they are finding it very hard to fight their inner demons around this connection as well but they are trying their best to win over their fears around it and they are trying to maintain healthy balance between work and love um, they also want you to know that uh, you are that one person you know that brings them the happiness even though they they are somebody who's uh, very career oriented that is their passion. They really want you to know, but you are that happiness that they want along with that you know, excitement towards their, uh, towards, their, towards their work. I feel like you know, they also seek that uh, understanding from you and from your side that uh, you be the support for them that they need right now uh, because they, they really love getting loved by you, but at the same time, maybe they want to invest more of their time into their work scenarios as well. So maybe that is also something that they want you to understand. This person really is uh, finding hard to be expressive about how they actually feel for you, especially for those of you who are having issues with your person. I feel like, you know, they really wish you could understand them or you could go and find what they um, truly feel for you from within. Because I feel like, you know, your person could be somebody very unexpressive. But if at the same time, they would always uh, make that romantic gesture when it is needed. <clears throat> especially at times when uh, they would fear that maybe you are going to leave them they would always do something special to stay to keep you stay with them to keep you be with them um so i feel like you know your person is aware that you know if, if you if they don't do anything at all you are going to leave them and they cannot risk that so i feel like you know your person would always put some effort if and when they feel like you know you might leave them otherwise so that is coming in very strong here but i feel like you know your person is going to change um, in coming days to weeks time they will be like you know putting effort into the connection because otherwise you are going to give up on them which they cannot risk um, so whatever offer that you're going to be putting out to this person they will have to accept it because otherwise they they will lose you um, let's see oracle cards here let's see what the oracle has to add to the read <clears throat> Remember who you are. You are a powerful, loving, and creative child of God. You are very loved. You really have to know that you are lovable and you are loved by heavens. So whatever you want, seems like you know you will be getting it all done. Because the divine is definitely there for you to help you, to guide you, to get what you want. Let's see more cards here. Victory, your prayers have been heard and answered. Have faith. The universe really wants you to have faith in, in your dreams around this connection. Because uh, your prayers have been heard and you will be getting what you wanted very soon. So that's pretty much it coming up for you for this read. If it helped you, do like, share, and subscribe. Till I do the next read for you guys. Take care. Bye.